President Trump was at the Vatican meeting Pope Francis. He was meeting Pope Francis, yeah. Yeah, thank you for pretending to, pretending to be interested. Uh, <laughs> people who just barely, they're like, no. <laughs> They sounded like cows that were napping. <laughs> meeting the Pope, this is big. Right. During their meeting, uh, that's too much. Uh, <laughs> during their meeting, Pope Francis gave President Trump a medal. Yeah. Gave him a medal, yeah. Then Melania said, hey, if anyone deserves a medal here, it's me, all right? I live with the guy. I live. Quite a, I didn't. Not really. The whole kind of Melania impression was yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if anyone deserves a medal here, it's me, see? I made her like Rocco right, from the right, mob. Right. I don't know, I don't do a Melania Trump. Uh, well, I didn't, that's right. That's right, President Trump was at the Vatican meeting with Pope Francis. The world leader who believes himself the embodiment of God on Earth said he's a big fan of the Pope, really likes him. <laughs> so nice. Gotta think about that one for a bit and then you like it. That's available, I'm gonna write it out for everybody. Uh, this is weird, while he was there, President Trump gave Pope Francis several books written by Martin Luther King. Yeah, that seems nice. Then Trump said, in my opinion, this is what Trump said, in my opinion, King's best books were The Shining and Pet Cemetery. <laughs> mm, didn't look at them first. Yeah, I'm just telling you what he said. My job. During uh, her visit to the Vatican this morning, Melania Trump wore a black dress and black veil. Yeah. According to experts, that means she and Donald Trump had sex last night. <laughs> the boom. That's right, last night I had to do it with that guy. <laughs> That's my Melania Trump. That's a classic Slovenian accent. Yeah. Yeah. I worked hard on that one. I'm from Slovenia, I says. <laughs> Big news uh, from Washington. According to the Senate, President Trump's budget is dead on arrival. That's what they said. Yeah. In other words, in other words, Trump's budget is covered by Trump's health care plan. So, <laughs> see how that works out. <laughs> People are like, uh, nah. <laughs> Very clever, Conan. Move it along. I got uh, big news out of Hollywood. I call it Holly Weird, Andy. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, kind of a weird town. That's why. I know. Yesterday, 54-year-old uh, Tom Cruise, 54-year-old Tom Cruise revealed he'll be making a sequel to Top Gun. He's gonna make a sequel. Yeah, he's getting up there for a Top Gun sequel. Yeah. Yeah, in the new version, the song Danger Zone is about Tom Cruise's triglyceride levels. <laughs> All right, check this out. Crazy story, it's been in the news, I've mentioned this before, but it's just insane. A black man has received a surgical transplant of a white man's penis. <laughs> black man needed a penis and they, uh, they gave him a white man's penis. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell the transplant was effective because every time he turns on the radio, his penis changes the station to NPR. It just it reaches out, <laughs> so it just turns. I don't wanna. I don't know what it's grabbing with. I right, right, right. I don't know why it has, I don't know. I, I yeah, shouldn't act that one out. Maybe the tuner is just a button you push. Maybe it's not a knob that it has to grab onto like a turtle. So he's just doing that is what you're saying. Possibly. It's more of this kind of thing. Possibly. That's what I should have gone with. I was too busy working oh. on my Melania impression <laughs> to get that just right. Sure. So I should have, yeah, it should be more of that. I had yeah. the penis reaching out and then turning right, right, right. an antique <laughs> dial. <laughs> is a mistake. Because I'm an idiot. Strange story out of Cambodia. In Cambodia, an actress is not allowed to make movies because the country's government said she's too sexy. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know why I'm not allowed to make a movie in Cambodia. <laughs>